that we will get this done. Thank you, Prime Minister. Sir Brian. Well, I, I thanked you at the beginning for making space in your calendar to come here today. You will realize, I think, now how important that is. It's important in particular because when uh, I wrote my second interim report, which I recognized was an unusual step, given that there was no further evidence we had thought to be heard before the final report was drafted. Because as I said, uh, in conscience, uh, I could not countenance there being any further delay on my part before uh, the recommendations which I was making would be put into effect. I said that uh, I thought there was no reason, given political will, uh, why they could not be put into effect this year. You will realize that to everyone here, I think, you, it's one of the unfortunate aspects of being Prime Minister, you embody political will. And they will take away, I think, from the evidence you have given, the reassurances uh, that you have said in terms, of course, we will put it right. Of course, it's the case we are committed to compensation to those uh, infected and affected. You have agreed that it is one of your priorities, it is a priority, and that word it is a word of considerable importance. Not everything can be a priority. Uh, and you have endorsed Penny Warden's wish to have it sorted on our shift, your government's shift. You will take away, I hope, the need for many to see tangible reassurance of that. You have pointed out uh, uh, that you have been one of the prime ministers who actually matched rhetoric with some action. On your shift, so far, we've had in, uh, interim payments, albeit agreed before you came in, but you had committed yourself to them anyway in the course of the uh, election campaign for that. Uh, you have pointed to the fact that you have been in charge of the government when it recognized the moral case for compensation as no previous government had done. Uh, and you have made it clear in what you have said today, right from the start, that you recognized, you recognized the wrongs were, were done uh, and the way in which over so many years people's desires have been brushed aside by government. Uh, and that, you said, was wrong. You're speaking of previous governments, of all descriptions. They will be looking, I suspect, for yet further tangible recognition. They recognize the evidence they've heard this week uh, of work being done. Um, but, but there aren't any details. There is no timeline. There is no structure yet in place. If there is anything that you can, in the interim, do to reassure them, preferably by actions rather than by words, but either will do actions preferably, <laughs> uh, that there will be the compensation which is just and fair and it will be delivered as soon as possible. Because if it troubles my conscience, I would think it would trouble the conscience of a caring government. Uh, and you have said that's what you would wish to be. So thank you. 
for your evidence, uh, you will see, you just had it demonstrated, the importance of what that means to people uh, and for the time that you have spent, as you, as you have said, at short notice, it, it needs to be recognized. And that is some indication, some action that you've taken to honor those words. Thank you.